This is the effect of ultraviolet light exposure on Escherichia coli at varying durations. Rationale Many bacteria and viruses cause illness and can be found on the surfaces of commonly used items. There are multiple different ways of disinfection, but the newest is UV light, which burst in popularity at the beginning of the pandemic. UVC light wands can be used on many different surfaces, such as counters, steering wheels, and even phones. The rationale of this experiment is to test how long it takes for UV light to prevent the growth of Escherichia coli, or E. coli. The study is important scientifically, but can also be applied to real life. Hypothesis and research question. Hypothesis is, if E. coli is exposed to UVC light for a minimum amount of 60 seconds, then growth of bacteria will be prevented because UV, or UVC light in specific, is a bactericidal disinfectant. The research question is, what is, what is the minimum amount of UV light exposure needed to kill colonies of E. coli? Materials. The UVC light wand used in this experiment had a wavelength of 264 nanometers, meaning that it should be bactericidal. A strain K12 Escherichia coli broth was used, which was non-pathogenic, and a biohazard bag was used at the end of the experiment to dispose of all contaminated materials. This is the methodology for the experiment. After all the materials were gathered, protective equipment was applied, such as gloves and goggles. The auger plates were then swabbed using the zigzag method. One half of each auger plate was covered using an index card and the visible portion was exposed to UV light. After left for 48 hours to allow incubation, the growth was observed and quantified using a self-devised scale. All contaminated materials were disposed of in a biohazard bag, which was then delivered to a biomedical waste company. Data. The data is mostly self-explanatory, and it helped prove that the hypothesis was not supported. As you might be able to see, a number one represents less bacterial growth than the control, a number two represents the same amount as the control, and a number three represents more bacterial growth than the control. Data analysis. With the exception of a few that grew the same amount, the experimental group grew more colonies than the control overall. The number of colonies grown increased as the time of UV exposure increased. For the most part, the UV light helped the colonies grow. Interpretation. The outcome of the experiment was definitely unexpected, but after much thought, it was decided that it was most likely due to the UV light emitting heat. The UV light assisted in the bacteria's fast growth. In this experiment, an online bought UV light sanitizer was used to simulate what regular people would have access to. However, in another experiment, a lab quality UV lamp could have been used to see how the results would be different. Other methods of disinfection may be better, but that can't quite be told from this experiment alone. There needs to be other studies to see which type of disinfection works the best. Conclusion. Overall, the UVC light was not effective in slowing the growth of E. coli and instead helped it grow faster. Because of the way that the bacteria had grown, a scale was created to quantify the growth, as well as to make it easier to compare to the control group. As said before, the hypothesis of the experiment was not supported. Here are some pictures of the experiment. In number one, you can see all the auger plates that were used in the experimentation, and in the other photos, you can see some close-ups of them. Note, the portions of the auger plates with red marks are the ones that were exposed to the UVC light. As you might be able to tell, the one on the bottom left-hand corner was, a, was given a two, since there was the same amount of bacterial growth on both sides of the plate. However, on the other three pictures, the side that was exposed to UV light grew more colonies, so those plates would have been given a 3.